Just real quick, we wanted to say a massive thank you to Intel for partnering up with us on this video. Tonight, we are going to be staying in the oldest hotel in the world and it happens to be here in Japan. So this traditional Ryokan Onsen Hotel has been open since 705 AD and what makes it even cooler is it's been owned by the exact same family, passed on generation to generation up until today. We are currently bathing in the hot springs that samurai would bathe in in 700 AD. Okay. Hey everyone, we're Steven, Jess, and little Hunter. So excited. That's the best thing I've had in Japan. An Australian family currently on an epic two week trip <laughs> through Japan. Ready, let's, let's do it! So, to get to the oldest hotel in Japan, it's gonna be a little bit of a journey. We're right now in Osaka, we've got a couple of trains to catch. So public transport can sometimes be super daunting, but we always recommend you guys get a SIM card because it means you can use Google Maps because Google Maps is going to be your best friend when traveling, especially in a place where the alphabet is completely different, right? So luckily in Japan, on the Google Maps, it'll tell you exactly how much money you need to get to the next station. So we need 180 and these machines have English options. Pick a card. Hunter just keeps getting little gifts from everyone she meets. Someone just gave her a little sushi magnet. Guys, with anything with life, especially travel, if you get lost, ask someone. They are more than happy to help you. Went to buy it on the ticket machine. It didn't accept my credit card. So we're going to go to the ticket office to see if we can get our tickets directly from there. I'm not sure why I didn't take it, but we'll see. Thank you so much. Okay, tickets sorted. So much handier when you can just find someone that's super helpful, which is just about everyone here in Japan. It's about 120 bucks for a two and a half hour bullet train. And we paid an extra five dollars so we could guarantee to sit next to each other when you're traveling family kind of want to sit next to each other but 120 that's not too bad that's very comparable to the trains when you're interrailing around Europe. Got our tickets. Got our tickets. All right so we need to go now to another what? station. All right. <laughs> Okay, we got there in the end. Quickly want to show you guys how to do the JR on the Shinkansen by yourself. So pretty much you want to look for the 508 is our train number. So that's what you're going to look like on the board. It'll show you which platform. We're on platform 26. And then these trains are humongous. So you then want to move down to the next number. And then number 16 is, is the actual kind of carriage that you're going to be going on. And you can just look at it, follow it along. And then the final number is your seat number. And that's how you can do it. Everybody. Welcome aboard the Shinkansen, or more aptly known as the bullet trains. And they call it that because we're probably going about 320 kilometers per hour. And they've even just built a new one, which goes double that speed, up to 600 kilometers an hour. They're really fun. We love doing train journeys. Of course, you can probably fly, but if you have an opportunity to go on a bullet train, make sure you take that opportunity. <laughs> Look at this madam. Hunter has arrived. We're only halfway there. For some reason, we've now decided we're gonna go hire a car in Japan. Is it a car or is it a bus? I think it's the biggest car in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this car, Hunter. Look how big it is. <laughs> All right, you ready to drive the streets of Japan, Street? You are now, we got the car. All right, ready when I count to three, you have to fall asleep. One, two, three. Let's ready, go. family? First ready, let's, let's do it. Do it. Rock and roll! Head on the streets of Japan! <laughs> Let's do it! Alrighty, we stopped off at the 7-Eleven and the good thing about this place is you don't really know what you're gonna get. What have you picked up, Mima? You never know what it's gonna be. It's a packet of broken biscuits. It looks like that. Broken <laughs> Subway I thought, biscuits. I said to Why mom, not? I said to mom, what have you got? She goes, it's a packet of broken something. Taste it. Oh, good, good stuff. <laughs> Rice crackers. <laughs> Very nice. How can we set my so far, I feel like the roads have been really easy to drive on, but the hardest part has been directions because it's all in Japanese. The street signs, even Stephen's phone is telling it us in Japanese. We've been on the road for 30 minutes and we've already made how many wrong turns? Oh, just the one. Good work, Stevie. Oh, it's got, it's got a pretty drain. Oh, <laughs> every day. Okay, so oh. Oh. We have little shoes for you. Take those off and you're gonna put your little shoes on. Do you wanna yeah. try? So watch mommy ready, so I'm going to come up and I'm going to step in. 
Freeze. Oh, honey, they look so cute on you. <laughs> Did you like them? Yes. <laughs> look at your new shoes, honey. I <laughs> think you look so cute. I think you look so cute. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Come along, honey. <laughs> I have to wobble up. Thank you. Thank you. She's very good. <laughs> Time to go. Daddy's gonna follow you. <gasps> it looks so cool. Yeah. Like What's this? I think it's shy. Oh my god. Got tickets. I got tickets. It's like just Oh yeah, so I can let it choose. Does everyone want a little welcome yes. drink? Oh. David? Me, Mom. Thank you. Me, Cheers to the adventure. What is it? We left at 10 and we got here at 6. Cheers to the excitement oh. of the gorgeousness. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Wow. Very nice, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. very nice. <laughs> so, as you can see tonight, we're going to be staying at a traditional Ryokan Onsen. And what makes this place extra special is I think this place is the oldest hotel, not just in Japan, but in the world. It opened back, what, in 700 AD? And it has been owned by the same family for 52 generations. And when we saw that, we were like, we have to stay here. So we booked two rooms. We just checked in. And as you can see, because it is one of those traditional rooms, we're our beds. We're going to be sleeping sleeping on futons and to dine we're going to be sitting on the floor but we just checked in and the girl did say that um we have to be in dinner in four minutes and we need to get out of these clothes because there's something even more special that we need to put on hunter look what mommy and daddy have to wear tonight imagine if they had a hunter robe i don't think they do but these very special robes <laughs> wow mommy and daddy are gonna wear these for dinner dad doing red or blue blue please they kind of have another one. Do we attempt to put her in it? Oh, we can see. <laughs> All right, let's get ready for dinner. One, two, three. Hunter didn't want to miss out. Hunter, you look so cute. Are you ready for dinner? That's all Oh, who's the cutest girl I know? <laughs> oh, you look like Whoa. you're ready. Oh, you look gorgeous, honey. I wish she was though. She thinks we're going to the pool. It's like mummy pool day. Look at this, we've just come to dinner and this is how they've set it up. But I don't even know what to expect. This is very formal, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I think it might be a potato. Potatoes so good. A potato is so good. No. This one? No. This one? Yes. The potato is so good. Put it in your mouth. Open up wide. <laughs> So we just arrived at dinner and first of all, we have a menu. It is handwritten, but it's all in Japanese. So I think we're just gonna eat our way and work things out, but they've already delivered the entree. We have some sake, kanpai, kanpai. Oh, that's really good. Oh, arigato gozaimasu, thank you so much. Mum's about to cry. She got served soup in a cool little pot. It's very cool, isn't it, Mum? It smells like miso soup. See, one, two, three, lift the lid and smell. It smells so tasty. Ah, nice. Oh, nice. That's all. Can we just appreciate how cool this bowl is? It looks like a gelatin. Jelly with like a peanut miso soup. That's so flavoursome. Especially because it's pretty cool in the mountains at the moment. So this is just warming us up straight up. Oh, let me smell. Oh, it smells so good. I love how mum and dad are straight into it. They've got a full bib on now. And we don't really know what anything is because the menu is in Japanese. But dad's a chef, so he keeps tasting everything for us and then telling us what he thinks it is before we go ahead. I think it's a vegetable stock with mushrooms. It's a mushroom soup. <laughs> I'm so happy you like Japanese food. <laughs> it's the best, oh, isn't it? Oh, good. It's so good. Oh, and now look at us. Mmm, miso soup. <laughs> I've done a little Maisel. Google Translate. Okay, what have you worked out? So it is, this is golden wine, sesame seed tofu, which I think we worked that out. Um, appetizer called I am like this, so I think that's a bad <laughs> Google Translate. I am like this. <laughs> 
so tasty. Yeah, so tasty. So next up, we've been given, I don't even know what course, we had the appetizer, this would be the sushi dish. We have some raw salmon, and there's like three different sauces. One looks like soy, one like a miso sauce. Or... Sauce. Wow, that's the best thing I've had in Japan. Really? That was, that sauce with this. That middle sauce. <laughs> I'm proud of you for trying it though, Hunter, but I've got something that you might like. What's in here, Hunter? Mm, I don't like ice. You don't like the ice, but you want the nunus? No, like ice, ice. No, like ice. Go, ice. Go, ice. So nice. <laughs> okay, they've served us noodles on ice and a piece of fish. Hey, I'm proud of Hunter for even having a bite of that fish. And I thought she said she didn't like the ice, but now she's eating the ice over the noodles. Oh, here comes the noodles. If even Chef David doesn't know what we're having, none of us know what we're having. So let's just dive in. I think there's a mushroom, tomato, let's try. Mm, it's really good. The question is, what is the goo? I don't know what the goo is. Okay, I think this is the coolest course so far. So they've just lit a little flame and we have a little spot here that we're going to cook our food. They've given us some veggies and they have given us some beef as well. Just didn't need it. It felt like an alert though. I don't know what dish number we're up to. Oh, go, go. Oh, yes. Oh, he got you ice cream. So to end it all, one last kanpai with our tea. Oh, kanpai. 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 special is its location so right below us is a river running through and some areas of it are hot springs so they said it smells like sulfur and you can soak in them and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow but how beautiful how we have a little balcony yeah. overlooking the river yeah, I like that. perfect i was just saying to steve that one of my favorite things about arriving to a hotel at night if it's in a special location is that it means that when we wake up in the morning we're probably going to wake up quite a surprise of what it looks like around the area and it's so cool even just hearing the river right now Andrew, is this so nice? Sleepover. Oh, look how cozy. Oh, it's night, nice. Night, night, honey. Love you. I love you. Okay, bye. Bye. Night, Daddy. Where am I sleeping then? Oh, oh, see you, Dad. See you, Dad. Okay. Get kicked out. Enjoy the bed. So we're content creators that are always on the move. And especially right now here in Japan, we've been catching flights, bullet trains, overnight capsule buses, staying in traditional Japanese onsen hotels. We love capturing and editing our moments. And this makes it so much easier with the Intel-based platform Dell XPS 13 laptop. So also on our trips, uh, we try to pack as light as possible, but usually fail miserably. But at least with my laptop, it has a one cable solution. So at least I can be clutter free and not pack a million cables on our trip. So the charging port is the 
same as where I plug my camera in, is the same spot where I plug my hard drives in. So honestly, it's great because it's just one less thing I have to worry about when packing. Also, with Intel Wi-Fi 6 built straight in, we're able to stream high quality 4K movies and TV shows on the go. We can enjoy the latest entertainment without a drop in quality. We're able to stream some of our favorite anime while we're here in Japan. And we can also just easily check out the entertainment with the touchscreen on the Dell XPS 13. Also, I can switch straight from entertainment mode to creator mode thanks to the Intel 12th gen processor built straight into the laptop. Being able to edit our 4K videos on the go without any compromise in power is perfect. Also, I see I've probably watched too many shows. I've just about run out of juice. If you're wanting to do a quick charge, especially because we got a flight in the morning, a 13 minute charge. So if you only have 30 minutes, we'll get you four hours worth of battery life. So if you guys are interested in hearing more, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now let's head back to the travels. So usually in the morning, I try and go find Jess a coffee. I walked every around the Onsen Hotel and breakfast is until 8 so we've got you know a little bit of time to chill and I thought you know what what's more traditional Japanese than coffee from a vending machine <laughs> cheers Bobs I think I was right when I said last night that we were going to be waking up to some beautiful views we're currently sitting out on our own private terrace we have our vending machine coffee and we are looking out over the hot stream bubbling below us This looks so cool. So as I was saying last night, this place is also an onsen hotel and they have of course public onsens that everyone can go and bathe in but they also have private ones that you can book every half an hour. So at 7am we've booked this place so the whole family can have a soak. I think Hunter wants to go in right now Steve. <laughs> Daddy come on the soak. Daddy nice. Put your feet in. Nice. Yeah, nice. So nice. But I, I should research, but I just don't know if I'm allowed to come in here when I'm pregnant because of all the minerals. So I'm just going to soak my feet, just in case it's. But this is so beautiful, Steve. It's so bad. Onsen. Yeah, this is an onsen. Yeah. Do you like onsen? Yes. Do you know the hot water is coming from underground? Yeah. And that's what makes the bath so warm. This is so nice. So we have done a Japanese onsen hotel before and the private one was actually a little bit of a bucket so it didn't feel as natural. This one already gets 10 more points because it just feels like you're in the natural spas. We've got a little bit of waterfall coming through here. It's a nice temperature, not too crazy hot, but definitely enjoyable to just sit in here for the next half an hour. And that onsen was so beautiful. I think that's the most beautiful private onsen that we have ever done. And if you do come to the hotel, they also have, I think, four other onsens, but they're all separated between men and women, and all you have to go in there naked, and it's all traditional, so of course we're not going to film there. So grateful they did have a private onsen so we could show you what it's like. But something also amazing about this hotel is that included in the price is all the onsens, is your dinner, is your breakfast, so when you are coming here, you do get the full experience. Even in the middle of nowhere, there's a vending machine with hot coffee. <laughs> Another perk about staying in the oldest hotel in the world is that it is an hour drive away from Mount Fuji. This is the first time we've ever seen it up close and it is pretty epic to see in person. You can see why this is the symbol of Japan. I mean, a lot of mountains, you're like, yeah, cool, it looks stunning, but just the shape of Mount Fuji, its epicness, its grandness, it's also in front of a lake, which is absolutely stunning. So you've just got this beautiful water in front of it. Of course, the ideal time would be during spring. So there will still be some snow on top of the mountain. And if you could come here in cherry blossom season, that would just be so stunning. I think we need to come back for that. But in the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy the grandness of Mount Fuji. So we're gonna be spending the morning at this 
traditional village, it is sitting right below Mount Fuji with amazing views. And what's extra special about this spot is that they have eight ponds and they are all fed by the snow melt from Mount Fuji. Do you see how big they are? Look at this, are they koi? Brown, and what's this one? Oh, you like a special orange one. Dad has just bought the water and this comes straight from Mount Fuji. So I'm guessing it's gonna be very fresh. Are you gonna drink some, Dad? Oh, look how, no, it does look so clear. <laughs> well, it's pretty cold when you go quite deep. Yeah. Oh, I win! I win! It's the Vine Fiji water, we've got Mount Fuji water. It's very fresh. Yeah, you can hold it. Hold it. You want to hold it? Here you go, honey. Just wait for it to cool down. It's a little bit hot, okay? Ah, nice. Is it nice? I love my one. Yeah, you can share with me. Yeah, look, what is that, Hunter? Dad has to try one of these ones. He missed out last time. I'm going to get you one. Here you go, Dad. Wow. I know. Cheers with Dad. Cheers. Cheers. The yummy. Oh, look. Uh oh. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> it's as well. Alrighty everybody, I hope you enjoyed that look at the oldest hotel in the world. Our Japan trip is still going on. Next stop, we're heading off to, to Tokyo. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>